Earlier this year, a grievance was filed by a member which I was assigned to investigate. When I initially investigated the grievance, I didn't think it would go anywhere, but I processed the grievance and went through the steps of the procedure, but with each step thinking that surely the next step would result in the grievance being closed. The way that I felt in this situation reminded me of when my youngest sister was born. In 1998, my mother was expecting her sixth child to be born in August, but in May, my sister was born prematurely after only five and a half months of being in the womb. My sister weighed in at only a little over a pound and measured the size of an adult's hand. The doctors told us that because of her premature birth, she had respiratory problems and other things that would require her to remain in an incubator for a period of time. The doctors also said that it was necessary that all the family interact with her so that she could feel our presence, which would somehow give her motivation to fight and get better. At that point, the family decided we would try to be with my sister all the time out of the day that we could, which meant we would have to take shifts. I remember at the time I was 16, so after school I would take the train to the hospital to spend some time with my sister. At first, I was a little hesitant to touch her because I was scared that I would hurt her since she was so small, and I was also skeptical of the fact that she would respond to my touch, but I figured that if the doctor said I should, then I would do it. Eventually, my sister, after three months of being in an incubator, was able to come home with us, but she still had a lot of monitors that she was hooked up to. A couple of times during the first three months she was home, I remember the monitors would start to beep, which meant that my sister, while asleep, had forgotten to breathe, so my mother would have to go and wake her and blow air into her mouth so she could start breathing again. Even with all of those moments, my sister grew and progressed like any other child. I distinctly remember her first birthday was a big celebration for her and all of our family. As the years passed, we almost forgot she was even born prematurely because she lived such a normal childhood. Now my sister is nine years old, and I consider hers to be a story of success and hope. She wrote me a letter recently, and I cherish that letter as a reminder of how I took part in her getting better. I also recently received a letter from the member whose grievance I handled. That letter was a letter of gratitude, since the grievance had been resolved successfully. Although the two situations are different, they are also the same in the sense that they helped me realize that I should go into everything with hope of a positive outcome.